Hello, I'm Wayne Searles and I'm with the Maine Forest Service. I'm an entomology technician and I'm here today to show you folks just what I look for when I'm looking for hemlock woolly adelgid. I've been doing this for quite a long time, number of years as a matter of fact, and through those years found that you will generally find this pest in trees that occupy territory next to a stream next to a trail, whether it's people traffic, whether it's animal traffic, uh, along streams, again, where, where uh, animals might be traversing and maybe moving it around. But at the same time, what I'd like to say is that uh, you will find different levels of this critter. And when you're on your woodlot, the first thing, you don't want to find it. Absolutely don't want to find it, but you got to go out there thinking you do, might find it. So I'm going to show you now some different levels of populations that I have seen over the years. You will sometimes find very little uh, activity going on. And in this case, we got a solitary uh, sack or, or piece of wool on this little uh, branch, a twig. And this is so common that you have to really focus to find these guys. And uh, I guess if it was me, I would say this would be a trace. There are others on this particular branch, but this one I just wanted to point out to you. This is another twig on the same branch that is a little bit heavier. This here, I'd classify this as light. And although we usually rate these in four categories, I would, uh, I think personally, I'd call this a heavy. Uh, we do have a moderate category that is probably all over this uh, tree in places, but for the sake of showing you what I am today, again, all three of these twigs are off the same branch, so um, pretty pretty striking. And this is when you know it's really heavy when you look down upon it actually, and see the see the wool as heavy as this. Now, as you can see, this does have current year's growth. So this had good growth in 2020, a relatively good growth. But with that amount of insects on the tissue and drawing the juices out that they will, this very rapidly will uh, decline. And it, it can be pretty amazing how quick it happens. But uh, yeah, it'll get to a point where they will not be putting out any current year's growth. And that's when the tree really starts showing the decline. As you are out in your woodlot and as you come across this particular pest, uh, I wouldn't get too alarmed early on unless it's really heavy. At that point, you'd want to talk to your forester. We are always at the lab. Somebody will always be there to answer your call. We'll gladly come out and look at your woodlot if you have questions there. But uh, So this has nothing to do with the management of your woodlot as much as it is just to show you what we're doing when we're doing a detection survey. And that's what we're doing.